Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. Yeah, so here's the Hermit card, the very first card that came out, which the Hermit would definitely speak about. Um, you kind of withdrawn from people, um, taking some time out for reflection. This is you going with and the King of Wands here. It's, again, that season of preparation for a lot of people dead. So the Hermit, King of Wands, and the Death card is out here. So exactly what I'm saying. The King of Wands and the Death card, this is going through a major transformation. Someone is really going within right now and trying to get a lot of information about themselves and about several different things around them. Because I feel like either you or someone in your energy is preparing themselves to be this, like, this, um, a leader. The King of Wands is usually someone who is a great leader. It could be a motivational speaker. It's someone who's, you know, for, for many, they will say attractive, but this has nothing to do with outer appearance or, but it's the appeal of this person. This person is a visionary. They're naturally just magnetic to most people around them but with the death card and the hermit card being out here this is a major spiritual transformation that's happening here in the page of cups someone is trying to go through a serious transformation in their life right now a spiritual transformation where they're ending a lot of cycles trying to have some type of rebirth because i feel that someone is wanting to pursue some type of create creative opportunity um or they may want to make an, an offer to someone the knight of pentacles there's a lot of planning and strategy around Whatever this is, I feel like a lot of people in the collective right now are just taking their life more seriously. Okay, the moon card is here. The truth is out about a lot of different situations. For some, there's been someone in the background for quite some time in your life. And they've possibly been trying to cause some type of illusions or... Um, for some of you, I don't know who, who this is. But I feel strongly that a lot of people have had to deal with other people trying to dive deep into like their Akashic records. This hermit energy here, it's like someone is off the grid. So you may not be in contact or communication with someone, but this person, they're monitoring you in some way. This it seems like there's two different situations that I'm picking up on here, which lets me know that it's someone in the background because many of you, you're soul searching, you're going within because you're trying to get it more into the, these leadership roles, whether it's with work or if you're just trying to take the lead in your personal life, your family or whatever it is. And there's this transformation here that's coming from an ending. But there's also someone that's in the background. They're watching and monitoring this transformation that you're going through very, very closely. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, something here is shifting and changing for you. You're going towards your destiny. I feel like you're going to have more good. Yeah, of course. King of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Someone here really loves themselves. And I do feel that someone is preparing to make a very serious love offer to a particular person, the Two of Pentacles. So there's an ending coming to juggling. Someone here could be having financial issues. Um, they could be working several different jobs. I'm getting someone here may be working several different jobs, trying to make ends meet. They're about to go through some type of spiritual awakening here where someone is going to realize that they have certain gifts, talents, and or abilities that will allow them to actually be more of a leader, maybe even their own boss. Page of Cups, eight of Wands. Someone is ready to communicate that they've made a decision. Or someone is about to receive communication. I'm picking up something here for a lot of people about work. Some of you are about to get some type of job offer or like a business opportunity. You have Justice here, the Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands, the Fool. Yeah, there's been some type of illusions here. Someone could have tried to put some type of blockages in your path. The Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles is here. So, yeah, this is someone who is being very methodical in the way that they are choosing to work. Someone here is being very careful also with who exactly they choose to collaborate with. The Three of Pentacles is obviously someone putting in a lot of hard work. It's 
trying to share your goals with someone. Someone is going to come in for some of you very soon and they're going to start sharing their, their dreams and goals with you. This could be someone who is looking at you um, for, for business opportunities as well as romance. Um, let's see. The energy today just seems so like slow. It's very slow and steady. I honestly don't know how to feel in this energy. I didn't feel like this before. <laughs> I turned up. This is just. It's very slow and steady. That's all I can say. It's kind of like waiting for the ball to drop. It's like, well, what's coming? It's. We're in this state right now of it's like stillness. What is this hermit? Somebody is for sure going within though, discovering something here. Someone also could be, um, some of you, someone is going to finally leave you alone that you left out in the cold because they're experiencing karma for something that they've been doing. Someone has been throwing bricks and hiding their hand. I will say that. I see that clearly where someone has been doing a lot of things to stop you from having positive changes in your life definitely a lot of yeah issues with finances here someone has been in the background trying to cause financial burdens but something is about to shift and change and you're going to get double for your trouble here yeah page of swords what did i say page of swords with the hermit somebody is watching you or somebody is watching your money seriously somebody is watching your money 100% somebody is watching your money and they're trying to do things to cause delays. Yeah, nine of wands here. There's somebody from your past that you need to be very um, cautious with telling information when it comes to your plans, your business. This energy is starting to really frustrate me because let me just say this and I'm, I'm picking this up. And I don't know if it's because of airy season, which is a um, very a time of a lot of strong masculinity. But I'm picking up specifically a lot of stories lately for men. I mean, men and women, I know gender doesn't matter. But there is a man who I'm picking up on in this reading. There is a lot of men who have this attitude where they don't think that their friends, the bros, can be jealous or envious of them and sometimes it has nothing to do even with money there are people who can be jealous and envious of you who have so much more than what you have this is for all people men and women but what i'm sensing here is that there's someone out here who is dealing with the situation where people are actually saying things or doing things even to block a person's money so that they don't move forward and the person who's going through this they don't understand it because these are people who have more than them somebody is aware of a person's potential and they're purposely trying to stop them from growing and expanding but there's someone out here who needs to soul search because for whatever reason they're refusing to believe that people around them that they, they like or that they care about would do this to them. Someone here is really not being smart about this situation. Someone is, is totally in denial and holding on to history. History should not trump energy. It, when energy is off with people, it, it, the energy has nothing to do with the nine of wands. Someone here should be trying to wash their back with somebody. Because this five of pentacles, nine of wands, energy shows me that someone has been out in the cold and has definitely been wounded has been suffering i feel like someone had money in the past and they've gotten themselves connected with a group of people these people are watching this person someone here also their entire life their, just their journey has been watched their ups and their downs somebody may not be in in a, a high point of life right now and i feel like people that are around someone is sitting back and they're watching this and they're actually laughing. They're, they're not trying to support someone here. Yeah, somebody needs to free themselves. It's like if you free yourself, you could be in this King of Wands, Ace of Cups energy here. Someone may want to free themselves so that they could be an entrepreneur. This this could be work, happening in the workplace. 
But someone is, is refusing to take a leap of faith to get away from a certain group of people for whatever reason. And there's no love here. Ace of Cups. This is like the energy of just being tolerated. Someone is around people. They're just being tolerated. This also could be a situation where um, it could be a relationship or friendship. I'm, I'm picking up like a roommate situation as well where someone is watching someone seeing that they're not really progressing, but they're not encouraging them to do anything better. They're just in this situation where they're they're just being tolerated. I don't somebody needs to really get up. Yeah, four of pentacles. Somebody here is definitely having issues with their finances and they're being held back. There is a, a natural born leader here who is being held back from love and everything because this person is failing to realize that the people around them are not in support of them actually having this spiritual transformation they're the blockage here seven of wands yeah and so the king of wands here is not blocking out this queen of wands this is for some a sibling a partner or somebody here somebody is causing someone a lot of burdens it's stopping this masculine from becoming this emperor energy you see it right here in the cards if th this person is being blocked by this queen of wands that is causing all of these burdens, I don't know if this queen of wands has their own burdens or if they're just creating burdens for this king of wands. But this is a situation where there is no love. The ace of cups is in the reverse. There is no love here. Now, this could be the, a feminine here who has taken a leap of faith and moved away from a situation. There is no love here, but they're still holding on. This looks like to me like there's a karmic feminine here who... King and Queen of Wands, they possibly have gone their separate ways or they're talking about going their separate ways. But someone here is blocking things for this King of Wands. This is this is like a married couple. If this is a relationship for some, this is a married couple or two people who for sure were sharing assets and liabilities because someone here has a way of monitoring another person's finances. This Queen of Wands is monitoring this King of Wands' finances. This could be two people who have like broken up, but they're still living together. You know, it's something weird. It's some type of arrangement here. And someone doesn't realize that by playing it safe, staying in this arrangement, it's it's hurting them and it's hindering them from, from growth. I'm definitely seeing yeah, this could be a situation where someone with their separated divorces but they're still living together or they're still sharing some type of bills someone here still has access to a person even after the ending of a relationship and the one person here is really monitoring the finances and trying to control the security and the stability of the other person now, the pages and the knights are out here as well. This could have something to do with children. There's about to be a, a, an end, though, to this juggling here. Yeah, the hierophant. Something is not in alignment with someone's morals and values, but someone is now about to really tap into their higher self with the hierophant here. Or they're seeking some type of wise counsel to make a decision. This could even be like going to a judge. About something, the Seven of Swords, Page of Cups, ooh, Ten of Pentacles. I just said children. Somebody here is, is lying about children. Somebody here is constantly using children as a pawn, lying about children for the sake of some kind of security, stability, um, security and stability with their finances. This is the hierophant, though, also is a marriage. <clears throat> Or a commitment. There could be two people here who are pretty. If they're not married, this is like common law. They've been together for seven to ten years. They could have children that are between the ages of seven and thirteen. Hmm. Yeah, this. Uh, somebody here is pretending with this two of pentacles. There's two people here because the Ace of Cups is in the reverse. There's two people here who, I don't know if they're legally married or not, but they're pretending that 
they're together for the sake of children, maybe like at, school, at the school or with, I feel like this is two people who haven't announced to people that they are, they're separated. The Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords is here in the reverse. There is something here. There is no coming back from it. The Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords is in the reverse. Like This is heartache, it's pain, it's betrayal, it's suffering. But these two people are tolerating one another or whatever they're doing because of money. Or they are separated and there's a, a person here who is lying or making up things about children to keep someone's money coming in. So somebody here is upset that a person is pulling their finances back and now they're creating things. But this person is watching or spying. The wheel of fortune is in the reverse. Yeah, it's like something here is not changing. Someone has already made up their mind that they don't want to be in this situation. It's not changing. But somebody also is trying to block a person from moving possibly into another connection. The Page of Cups could be a romantic offer with the Eight of Wands. Someone wants to stop someone from communicating with a different person or something like, I don't know. This is just some type of like scorn lover, the moon card. Yeah. Someone is, is hanging in the shadows, trying to watch and monitor whether or not their ex-partner or spouse has moved on. And they could have discovered that the person has moved on and now they're using children and finances as a way to disturb someone else. The three of swords coming out again in the reverse. The thing about it is because of how slow the energy is, somebody here is possibly even doing like some, some type of manipulation in more extreme cases, even magic. Somebody is just trying to slow something down for you. Um, I talked in the reading yesterday about like the Leviathan spirit. Um, that spirit of, 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 it's like pride and ego, but it's, if you read about it, it comes in and it's like a python almost. It just, it's heavy and it weighs you down. If you think about a python snake though, it's very slow. You know, um, the, a, a python isn't just going to quickly strike you. It's slow. Somebody here has been dealing with something and it, it's like it, it's it's slowly just killing them. It, it's it's just weighing you down. Hmm. But again, somebody is not recognizing that wherever this energy is coming from, it's in their environment. Someone is still trying to stay in an environment that's weighing them down. Like this could be a job. This could be someone's housing situation like who they're roommates with it's a person in in someone's energy and environment that is carrying this type of energy or this spirit and they need to create distance or get out of it and if this is like a love situation for sure someone to pretty much cause issues and obstacles someone is using children I just heard even health. Someone here is using their health issues or children as a way to keep someone stuck in a situation. But this situation has been over for a long time. This could be a situation where now someone wants to move out. Three of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles. There's a new partnership coming in. Eight of Pentacles. This has everything to do with work and the Emperor. Yeah. Someone is manifesting a change in their work life or their career to bring about more finances. This emperor here, this emperor, though, is going to have to surrender a situation with a family or a group of friends or both, or they will continue feeling defeated. There's a cycle here that needs to completely close out with the world card. Someone here is trying to close out a cycle so that they can be single, self-sufficient, and abundant on their own. But this is causing chaos. So someone here is just very upset that there's a masculine.
for sure who wants to walk away from a situation the connection here between two people is already over but i think that someone now is making it official where they do want to file for divorce or they want their name to be removed from a lease or something here is becoming more official and the other party is upset about it and like i said in the reading yesterday th there's this is that same retaliation black ball blackmail type of energy where someone is like well if you're not here then i'm just gonna make life difficult for you um this is a a scorn lover here who's trying to make it seem as if if this person isn't in a relationship with them then they shouldn't be in a relationship with anyone so they're using health um finances children whatever they can to try and keep someone stuck but this stuck energy is like that Leviathan spirit, and it's like that Python energy is just weighing someone down. And I think that someone is purposely doing this because they feel like if they weigh someone down enough, then the person will stop trying to move forward. The person will stop trying to pursue a new career or they'll stop trying to pursue a new relationship or just any type of higher learning or anything. Someone just wants a person to be stuck. In the same energy with them this is someone has a problem with the fact that another person is evolving and wants out yeah the hangman someone's going through an awakening but the hangman also speaks of delays see that's the thing though even though someone is trying to cause these delays all it's doing is further exposing the truth about the person that's causing the delays Yeah. The sun, the two of ones. Look at this. The magician and the lovers is in the reverse. Somebody here is doing like some type of love work. Judgment is here in the reverse and the ace of swords. And then here's the three of cups. Somebody here is using some form of manipulation. They're sending some type of dark energy out to a person in hopes that it will make someone feel like they should just give up. And maybe it's best for them to stay where they are. That's, that's someone's whole plan and strategy here. But these delays is causing someone to go through an awakening and actually wake up and realize that they were in a connection that was brought together by manipulation and maybe even magic. Someone here, the Ace of Swords is in the reverse. They know there's absolutely no, that someone has no mental clarity while they're with a particular person here. And the judgment is in the reverse. So with the judgment card being in the reverse here, what that's telling me is that I, I feel like someone here has made a decision. They're not changing their mind about it. And they're also not looking at this situation with any type of compassion. The judgment and the upright sometimes can speak of a second chance. Someone here is saying, no, there will be no second chances. Someone does not have any type of peace of mind or clarity in a situation because they got in this situation because of manipulation, magic, or out of some type of obligation. Um, the term shotgun wedding came out in the reading yesterday and that, you know, back in the day, people would say it's a shotgun wedding when you rush to get married, maybe because someone is pregnant. Someone here, and here is the sun car right next to it. Someone got into a relationship with someone because of children. It could have been an unplanned, unexpected pregnancy. Um, someone was, was maybe down on their luck, having financial issues. They got into a relationship but it was it was it was situational it was transactional at the time somebody thought that this was going to stay together forever and someone is saying no even though it has been a long time seven to ten years for some somebody now is ready to close the cycle out and the other person they don't want to give it up there's a, a masculine out here who is in this king of wands energy but they're unable to get to this emperor energy because they're stuck with the queen of wands who is not growing into anything else this queen of wands is this king of wands biggest problem the king of wands wants to go through a spiritual transformation now and move on to their path to becoming a true emperor this person is a natural born leader but they're stuck in this situation with this queen of wands who's probably been doing love magic sex magic and everything else to keep them in this family dynamic here these people there they celebrate as a family and look she's keeping this man here who has all of this 
majestic power about himself, this strength and everything else. She's keeping this man around to celebrate because they have children together. Seven of Pentacles. This person could like plants, but I feel like this person is doing some type of root work. Is what I'm getting. Somebody here is doing root work. To keep a person in a relationship. And this is a karmic relationship that should have been over. I can't say it never should have started because all parties involved have learned lessons. But this it's time for this to be over. And this person is now... <sighs> Look, this person is just acting like, well, everything is fine. It's not. Because this masculine is trying to move in a different direction. So the karmic feminine is causing this person to juggle. But it looks like the emperor is here now with the temperance card. This emperor is looking for peace and a way to balance and, and find harmony. This person is trying to transmute a lot of this negative energy. And see, this, this is a type of energy. It's so heavy because it's like to be in a relationship or in the household or around a person where you have to pretty much like sneak around and you're an adult that is very draining like this reading is sucking the life out of me i'm not even joking i don't know what this energy has been for the last few days but whatever these karmic energies are doing right now it's it's very very heavy manipulation um Somebody here feels like they have to hide everything that they do. Like this person feels like they have to hide whatever money they make. This person can barely bring a, a plate of food in the house without someone. It's like I'm hearing search and scan. If somebody here is like an investigator. And you may not look at this king of wands and think that they're going through this. But someone is in the household with someone who is crazy. I mean, this person, this person has to be carrying like this Leviathan spirit energy. This person will weigh you down. They're so intrusive. They're so possessive and insecure and just crazy. Like this person will not let up. I'm literally, this person is searching and scanning. I feel like this, someone here is around a person and they have no privacy, none. This person is checking phones, you know, just doing the absolute most. And it's like the person that they're doing this to doesn't want to be there. I don't know. Four of Wands. Wow. <laughs> for some of you, if you're like a divine feminine watch, for some of you, this is a situation that's going on with a masculine that's trying to come towards you. For some, this could be someone from your past that you know. For some of you, this is someone you've never even met. This is just what's happening. This is the reason why this manifestation hasn't come into fruition for you. Because there's a masculine here, an actual divine masculine, I will say, who is dealing with like this crazy, crazy situation with this other person here. Someone here is doing root work on this person. Six of Wands. Six of Wands, but it's in the reverse. And the Four of Cups. So this is the same energy I'm saying. It's like the Six of Wands is in the reverse. So this would say there's no victory or success here. There's no recognition or reward. But the Four of Cups is in the reverse too. So, you know, for some people, this may be a missed opportunity for with this person. Because this, this masculine is truly, I hate to say the word like stuck because everyone has free will, but it doesn't seem like this masculine is moving out of this situation. Nine of cups, the two of swords. Yeah, somebody here is just stuck at a crossroads. And here's the death card in the reverse. This might be just a missed opportunity for some. The King of Wands. You see, you see this person. Um, you see this person for who they truly are. 
and this is very stressful to you. You see this person for who they truly are. You see this person being a divine masculine, but you also see that this person is not moving away from the situation that they're in. And therefore, there's not much that you can do. Hmm. Yeah, you totally see the divinity all over this person. If you know them. But they're not moving. Nothing is moving. The chariot has just stopped. King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Wow. King of Swords. This person is detached and emotionally you've checked out. That's the Leviathan spirit energy, y'all. I'm telling you, there's like a karmic feminine or a karmic male. It's a it's a third, it's a an energy out here that is working hard to make sure that like two people don't come together. This person is not letting go. Um, if this is what you want, <laughs> and everybody wants to be with with the right person, this cycle will come to a close. But I will just say you're gonna have to really pray and and cleanse and clear because you there's a spirit working against two people who are trying to come together and like i said for some of you you haven't even met this person but wherever they are in the world this is what's going on with them there's um they're they're connected to someone that's holding them back there's an entity working through someone in the life of either you or your person that's keeping you away from an actual like divine counterpart or a union for some of you it has nothing this isn't about love for some of you this has everything everything to do with your career and your finances you have friends family or a boss or some people around you they don't really support your dreams or whatever movement you're trying to make and you're going to be stuck and stagnant and there's going to be issues with your finances until you get away from this employer this group of friends or family some of you it's time for you to move it really is. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. There's no new beginning here. It's in the reverse. And I, you know, th these cards fail. I never read cards in reverse. But I just, there's no need for me to change it because it makes perfect sense. The Page of Wands is in the reverse and the star. So someone here is not taking action. Even though they know something is destined for them, they're not taking action towards it. And if this this could be someone too who they they're just refusing to give up money. The Queen of Pentacles here with the Six of Pentacles. Somebody here does not want to give up this money, and so they're making sure that whoever they're connected to that may want to come towards you, they don't want this person to have any options because of the money. Wow, this is very much. This looks like I'm sorry. It does. It looks like a missed opportunity to me. Something could shift and change, but it's going to really, really require a lot of prayer and, and healing because something here is 100% destined and meant to be, and it's being stuck. Like, there's this spirit here, this entity is doing everything to make sure that these two people do not, that two people who are a vibrational match for one another don't come together. You're going to have to figure out how to remove this blockage. This is some kind of energetic blockage. It, it's a spiritual attack from some type of dark entity. Like I said, someone's doing root work. So the Ace of Wands came out, okay? Some of you, um, especially if you're, if you're more so looking for love right now, you may have to take your attention off of this relationship because you can't actually control another person. You may want to be using your energy right now to find your passions and to work on business. Um, now, right now, Four of Swords is a time for rest, relaxation, okay? You're in a separation from someone. Page of Wands, yeah. Don't allow this energy to weigh you down. Some of you, you really need to get up, get out, and allow yourself to create something new. Justice will be served here. Okay, and then the lovers. So, I mean, there's hope, but... For some of you, I don't know if it'll if love is gonna come from this person. It may have to be somebody different because you can't force a person to end a cycle. They have to be willing to do that for themselves. 
and somebody is really stuck. Ten of Cups and the Knight of Swords and the Temperance. I feel like somebody is going to rush in at the last minute to try to heal this this heartbreak or whatever. Yeah, and the Knight of Wands, Three of Wands. Somebody's going to rush in, but it's it's sort of, you know, like they catch me if you can. By the time this person rushes towards you, I don't know if you're going to still be available. Then again, for some of you, though, it's like right now you need to just embrace the separation. Because when you're connected to somebody, if they're dealing with like that um, spiritual attack, it's affecting you too. You guys, especially if you're the more aware, spiritually conscious and aware person in this situation, you're going to have to turn this pain into purpose and make sure that you're working on strengthening yourself. Don't let this weigh you down. This will be the, the perfect time for you to make sure that you're you're really improving things in your life. Although there's uh, for some of you, like I said, if you haven't met this person physically, you can still feel them energetically. Um, it may feel like there's a disconnect now. It's because somebody either you or this person has to close out a cycle completely. I feel like a person here has closed out a, a cycle like they made the decision but someone is still physically or emotionally energy. There's still a cord of attachment to someone's past. But whatever that is, it, it carries that python-like spirit, that leviathan-like spirit. It weighs them down. It could just be a lot of thoughts. Okay? But it's for some people, there's some type of shared resources. You know how people, they'll break up and it's like, okay, well, you know... They're still like paying a bill together or some people will, will try to do the whole we're broken up, but we still live together. Or, you know, it's, it's something here that is keeping these two people tied together, but they're really bad for each other. And I feel like spirit is not going to allow this energy to come into your life because then that darkness and that heaviness is going to spill over into your life so someone here can't physically come towards you until they cut something else out completely because they're dealing with someone that has some type of entity attached to them that is trying to keep the the two of you apart and i have several readings about this actually from last year the king of cups is here about these people with these different entities and doing all of this root work. Somebody here is doing a lot. The magician card almost popped out. There's a lot of manipulation, seduction, and magic being done. But someone cares about you. I will say that this person would like to be in this mature, you know, devoted life energy. But they're they're still giving into something else. Nine of Cups. This person sees you as wish fulfillment or you see somebody else's wish fulfillment, but seven of cups here. Seven of cups. King of pentacles. Oh, uh oh. I told you. You have the king of cups, nine of cups, seven of cups, king of pentacles. Somebody here may love you, but another masculine is coming in. Seven of cups speaks of options and then the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is someone who has stability and security. They're loyal. They're faithful. You know, they're diligent. They're wise. They're disciplined. The king of cups also could be someone who's very mature, family oriented, devoted. You know, the king of cups and the king of pentacles are two great kings. But one of these people is going to appeal to your your emotions and how you envision life. And then somebody's going to come in and they're going to actually offer you stability and security. And I think that for many people in the collective now you're wanting the person that you know is reliable this person that maybe you have this connection to as long as they're stuck to this other person or whatever situation they're in they appeal to your emotions but they're not giving you any type of stability and security so spirit is going to bring somebody else in this king of pentacles someone who can actually give you what you want 
And I, I feel that for some of you, you're already going through this. You have two masculines in your energy. They have the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. Somebody wants to come in and build an actual, like, found, firm foundation. Yeah, the star. It's wish fulfillment. Seven of Wands. You have to stand your ground here. The Six of Cups. Yeah. The Six of Cups is going to keep knocking on the door. Coming in with these offers. Being charming and trying to make romantic offers. But they're blocked. They still have this Queen of Swords in their energy. So some of you, yeah, this is... It may be a missed opportunity with a particular person. Because they're not... They're not free from the devil. And here's the magician. <laughs> there's there's a um this person can't manifest anything with the high priestess because they're tied to the devil. And there is, like I said, a lot of um magic and manipulation being used. So this person is trying to manifest someone who's an actual high priestess. It's not gonna work. Because it's a conflict of interest. This, this is a spiritual conflict of interest. You have a person who they say that they love you and they adore you, but they're attached to a person who's in a very low vibrational energy. You can't manifest with a divine being in that type of energy. It brings about too much conflict, chaos, and tension to someone who, for some of you, you're light workers. You're already in your purpose. And the divine feminine energy has not come out in this reading. So that lets me know that you are being held back and protected from this person at all costs. This person, no matter how hard they try to fight, as long as they are attached to this other energy, there will be no forward movement. You are moving though, chariot, the sun, and then the two of cups. You're moving into a very beautiful connection or commitment. And this person... Their karma is they're gonna have to watch you. They're gonna it's gonna be a major burden to this person to watch you because you are the divine feminine. Now, for some of you, some of you, you're gonna move if you're divine feminine, you're gonna move on to be with the new masculine. And this masculine who couldn't make a decision to leave this person behind, they're gonna have to watch you. For some, there's a masculine that's gonna come towards you, and this feminine energy here is going to be stuck watching and stalking and monitoring you because you will eventually be in a committed relationship with this person possibly married or and even you know having children for some of you and this person will always be in this but this person will always be in the shadows this queen of wands here the moon she will always be in the shadow trying to hold this person back from this four of wands the hierophant see this i'm glad i pulled those cards some of you listen to me I'm just, let me just t tell you the truth here. Some of you, you need to just leave this situation alone because what this card, the cards are saying exactly what I'm saying. Somebody here is tied to the devil, just period. It's a conflict of interest for this person to try and be with a divine feminine who is a high priestess and, and possibly a star. The lover speaks of a choice. Some of you need to move towards something that it's a clean slate, it's happy, it's peaceful, there's harmony here because you have somebody here, this queen of wands who keeps showing up. This person has a stronghold on this masculine, okay? She, the ten of wands, she carries that leviathan-like spirit, okay? She carries a spirit of stress and just weighing a person out. That's the that's the spirit that this she carries, or he. This person here will always be in the shadows, watching divine feminine. Always, she's not going anywhere. Okay, there, somebody here is um in some type of. This whoever is in this marriage commitment or relationship. They, they've gone into like some type of spiritual contract or marriage that was signed by the devil himself, okay? This is a karmic contract that someone here has not renounced themselves from. This person, they, they love you, they care about you, they want to be with you, but this, this person is just, they're stuck. 
It's a conflict of interest. They can't manifest anything with a high priestess. That's why there's delays here. There's delays. Because for some of you, you're going towards the Ten of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. You you going through your spiritual awakening. You've mastered yourself. There's victory and success. Some of you are going to be known in, like worldwide. Okay, you could be very, very popular online or whatever the case is, but it's time for you to just spread your wings and soar. You do not have to settle for this. There's a conflict of interest for many of you by dealing with someone. I feel like whoever this person is, they're a great catch. But um, th this is something that I, I just spoke about with someone in my life just in the last few days. Just talking about relationships. A person can be a, a, an absolutely great catch, but they're not right for you. Whoever this is. In this reading, they're not right for you. No matter what this person brings to the table, it's going to keep weighing you down because they've already made a deal with the devil when they decided to be in that relationship with the other person. That other part, that queen of wands, she's not going anywhere. The ten of wands, that's that. I'm telling you, this person has some kind of that they. They they deal with entities. They have an entity attached to them. But this person is always lurking in the shadows. Always. Somebody here, this is like a, what you would consider like a spiritual spouse. Like the bad kind. Somebody here has decided that they were going to like bind themselves to this masculine forever. And so a lot of you now, you've mastered yourself. You've already had this great awakening as a high priestess. For you to go into a, a serious marriage or a commitment, I don't think that you should. You don't settle for a person that has any type of like karmic attachments and baggage tied to them. It's, it's a conflict of interest. It's going to weigh you down completely. For those of you who are dealing with this right now and you're considering dealing with a person from the past or even a new person who has a lot of karmic debt, reconsider. Don't get yourself involved in that type of situation because it's going to really drag you through the mud. I mean, this energy right now, it feels so thick. And it's not your energy, divine feminine. You're showing up at the end as someone who should have wish fulfillment. But just know you're the divine feminine. You, you don't have to like settle for something that's going to stop you or slow you down. Anything that's causing you delays, it's not for you. Because God is calling for all of the healers and the light workers to be their absolute best right now. Our work is needed. A person who can't support you in... Being your greatest and highest self, they don't need to be around you right now. You're chosen. You're a whole earth angel. Don't invite anything into your life that's going to leave you heartbroken. Like at all. I don't like this energy. It's, it's, it just suddenly pissed me off.